Good to have y'all tuned in uh, here today. It is an honor of mine for y'all to be tuning into this channel. I want to uh, show a little bit about how I do to run the planter boards and how I set that up. I have tied on here a structural snake sitting up here. And I've got this leader just like this. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. This right here is a rig that I call my Joey Kirby rig. And you can, Dale's uh, tackle will soon have these in. It's a little rattle on here. I use this and I also use some dragon shad. It's a uh, lure type thing with a rattle in it. And I have here on the end of it, a uh, Mad Catter XHD. And I went and got me some shad this afternoon. And this is the way I have this rigged up. With this, uh, Strokes your snake here on the end of it. What I'm going to do now, I have this rig just like I want it. And I'm going to set it over here on my left side of the boat. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to throw that out. Just like I would throw anything else out. And I threw it over there probably 50 foot. I'm in 30 foot of water and I'm going to go down into about 60 foot. So I want to make sure that I have at least 60 to 70 foot of line out. If we're in 60 foot of water, I want at least 60, I mean uh, 70, uh, 75, 80 foot of uh, line out before I even tie my planter board on. Now, once I do that, I know I've got that out there far enough. I am running, these are the uh, Pro Mag planter boards. I did take the little uh, pigtail off the end and just put me a regular, uh, snap on the end of this a little bit easier to get my line on and off now once i get that out there now these planter boards are going up you're going to have one for the left side and one for the right side if you don't know which one's which it won't take you long you'll figure it out because if you put the left one on the right it's going to want to pull over to the other side and now i'm just going to run my line through that and I'm gonna snap this in. Y'all can probably see here that it's just got a, you just slip your line right in that little gap. And the other time, it's nearly not that hard. And I just lock it over. And I'm going to now put this out. Now, once I put my planter board out in the water, I'm also gonna let some more line go on out. The more line I got between the boat and the planter board, the further that planter board is gonna to wanna to pull off to the side. And you're gonna also notice that the more current you got, it's gonna to wanna to pull off to the side harder. So I'm gonna let these out probably about 30 foot behind the boat. And they, they're gonna pull over to the side. I'm gonna show you in just a minute what they're Here doing. Here we are, we're facing the back of the boat. I've got my planter board out and you can see how it's run over here to the side. And you can see the distance between it and the boat. This is gonna give me the ability to run some lines off about 20, probably about 20 foot on the left, 20 foot on my right. And I got some right down the center. And I also got some suspended here uh, just straight down and so I'm trying to cover a wide area and I'm also trying to cover uh, a couple of different depths but if you have any questions uh, just please message me or put a response back and I get back to you as quick as I can y'all have a blessed day